Six pack, just popped in after my birthday dinner. The wife is in bed with the flu. I'm following her soon. Happy birthday to me, Lemzip, and building the Lego Saturn V rocket. Oh man, six pack, bro. Get well soon. Uh, right. Where is this? It says R R Radom, Route 9. Radom's in Promot. I've heard of this. So there's Route 7. Where's Route 9 then? S8. 7, 11. Four. There's nine. I think. I think that's nine coming up through there. There's Radham. Route nine to Radham. It's got to be down here, isn't it? What was the other one? Left to... Well, it must have gone past here. Mm. Trouble is, I don't know where... Um Vicinity, aren't we? Let's go here. Oh, 60 k's away. Look at that. Close. Still a pretty good score. Almost, almost full points. Not bad. It never seems to put you in Japan or Korea. I guess it depends It depends if um, Google's managed to get any satellite imagery from there, which, knowing how much traffic they've got, probably not. <laughs> you doing your first flight for Air School, homie? Noise. Let's see how we're getting on here. 35 to ACH and 33 to KLVS. Fuel quantity is good. It's in the green. We are holding 8k. RPMs are fine. Can't wait to get this thing out of this boring terrain. It's far more interesting when you go west. Certain parts of Germany are not in street view either. If you're in a building, you're most likely not on. You're most likely in Germany. <laughs> China, crikey, would yeah. Shotgun Inc. Thank you for your support, Shotgun Inc. Welcome to the new house. Thank you very much for subbing. Can we give Shotgun Inc. a nutty, nutty welcome? Not a nutty welcome, a nutty welcome. Ooh, mm, palm trees. I'm seeing palm trees here. It's not a poor district. It's that thing. Hang on. Bit of a clue, a language clue here, possibly. Ben VD something or other. Chakara. Carefully planted trees. Look at that. It's like something out of city skyline. We need to see which side of the road they're driving on. The yellow line's down the middle. That's a pretty old car. Wow, is that a Ford Escort? Are you kidding me? That looks like an old... That is as well. That's an old Ford Escort. I mean, maybe they call it somewhere else in different countries, but... 
I have not seen a car like that for a long time. That's amazing. I don't think I've seen a Ford Escort. I can't remember what age it was. Looks like the uh, boot, the bonnet doesn't fit very well. Hmm. Could be Brazil. Don't think I've got enough info yet. What does that say? Club dos medios or something. It's like a club then. Club dos medios. Medicos. Medical club? Power lines are way too organised to be Brazil. Actually, it is very organised. Like I say, it's not a poor district, whatever this is. Like I say, it's all carefully planted trees, carefully planted power lines. Maybe if we can get to the edge of town, we can get more info. What's this? SJ Rio Presto San, San Carlos, is that? Rio, what Rio? Mega Miner! You just subbed? Let's wait for it to kick through. Welcome to the Nice Mega Miner. Thank you for your support. Can we give Mega Miner a nutty welcome? You're a guy, Argentina. I don't know, dude. Just trying to get information out of that thing. Right now, I'm just not really sure where we are. It's like a favela area. It's San Jose, Rip, Preto and Brazil. I've heard of that city before. We've had quite a few from Brazil tonight. Surely we can't be another one. <laughs> I love it, like some of the people just ride past are like, what the heck is that? I don't know. Don't know where this is. Brazil is the only Portuguese speaking in South America. Yeah, but the thing is, I wouldn't know if it's Portuguese or Spanish, really. So who's this guy, then? Is that Portuguese or Spanish? Portuguese, so it's got to be Brazil, so somewhere around here. I'm pretty sure it's not Peterborough as well, I think I'd agree with you on that one. Let's go there. 
Ooh, that wasn't a bad guess. Sao Paulo. Northwest of Sao Paulo it is. Two thousand five hundred points. Oh, that's different. I'm thinking with all these larders here, <laughs> the distinct surplus of larders. I'm thinking Russia or Ukraine, something like that. It's like two larders on camera straight away. Another one. School. It's a long process of setting up all processes and circuit boards in Factorio. Yeah. It's worth it though, man. The problem with Factorio is there's always something to be done. I think we need to go out of here because this is uh, taking us into a housing estate and this more of a main road. Some kind of Cyrillic. Is this why plane crashes happen, Scrubby? What? Because people are playing Geogether. What does that say? Well, there's nothing to really give it away to be Belarus yet. I don't think we've seen anything. Oh, come on. Can we not go that way? Okay, we'll go this way then. Pilot playing on his phone. <laughs> Let's stop. The trouble is, if we guess now, you know, it's such a big area. We, we could get zero points, you know. Easily get zero points. Because we've not seen anything to narrow it down yet. Too many lines from Russia and signposts of European, Belarus, or Ukraine. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking. I'm thinking Belarus personally. We've done Ukraine a couple of times. It doesn't feel like Ukraine at the moment. even any road signs this is unbelievable there we go wow <laughs> you are now leaving backwards like you know what this language looks like it's like if you take the english language and you turn it upside down and then look at it in a mirror it looks like that I'm going to go with Belarus. Let's go here. 
It says Piedgorsky Village. Okay, no idea where that is. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> That's like nearly in Turkey? Flipping heck. I would not have guessed that. Your passengers are going out the mines. Let's just check we're alright here. ACH is here. You alright back there? You okay? Cool. It's all good. So much land here. All right, six pack. Get well soon, buddy. Twelve hundred points. What's the most we've had tonight? How do you fly an FSC? You have the accounts and have joined our squirrel. Have you downloaded the client? You need to install the client. So you need to go to... Um FSEconomy.net, <clears throat> which is the main website, not the gaming website. The game website is for when you're actually flying. This is for when you want to basically register or get the game client. So you come to here and it says software downloads, depending on what you're using. If you go and explain, you would pick the explain client. If you go on P3D, you can use FSUI PC client. So if you go on explain client here, and then you have to follow the instructions through. So basically, it says, install the prerequisites before proceeding. So you must do this before you do the rest of it, yeah? You have to install Python, and it tells you exactly how to do it in this link here. It tells you where to go. It gives you screenshots of what to download. Install Python, then click that, and put the plugin into the folder and explain. That's all you need to do, and then you can carry on. And you drop the script in the right place, and you're done. Very simple. So that's how you get the clients installed. But you need the specific version of Python that it tells you to get. If you've never done it before, it'll take you 15 minutes tops. Terrain shape, nice. Spectacular natural wonders, United States, European Union, United Kingdom, Netherlands. Famous places from over the world, European stadiums, US cities. Fast Joe Testarossa, welcome back, dude. What's that, Hertfordshire? I presume it means America. All right, let's just do just the United States. Bear in mind, my US geography is not very good, but at least we know what country we're in. Let's see how well we do. Oh my God, Can you stop scrolling and let me what on earth is that? Oh my god, the 30s called. They want the tractor back. What on earth? <laughs> that is like... Amazing. I can't believe somebody's actually using that.
it's not flat. It's got a bit of a got a bit of a hill going on here. There's a cow warning sign. It's undulating. It's not Texas. <laughs> it's not flat enough for Texas. Golden West. What's that? 13-10? What does that mean? 13 foot 10. Ooh, that's a clue. Interstate 90. That's a blatant clue. Right, where's Interstate 90? Does anybody know before I start trying to find it? 40... 70, 80, 90. Interstate 90 is here. Going through South Dakota. So it's somewhere along this bit here. That's narrowed it down. Right, so that line. South Dakota probably then. we can get that won't let us go well new underwood is that a town is there a town called new underwood New Underwood? Oh my god. Wait, which way was that? We're looking north and that says go left. So that means... It's got to be around here. came from there, I reckon about here. Two point one miles? Oh, I almost had the exact road. Look at that. Almost got the exact road. Four nine seven nine, that's not bad. That was a good start. Two miles away, that's pretty close, man. Right, what the heck? This looks like a Google Maps picture dated 2005. <laughs> oh, man. This is so bad. Wow, ghost car? Look at the fidelity on them pictures. I think they need to update these. Look, you can't even read the sign, it's that bad. No clue where this is right now.
Whoa. Hello. Hello, 2013. <laughs> what the heck? Better pictures here anyway. I've kept going north. That is a weird house. Look at that. Just put this weird like perimeter fence up. Maybe he's got a dog or something. I guess it's Kansas, why? Oh, returning. Okay, 33 miles. Look at this scenery, it's beautiful. How long before we land? 33 miles. <laughs> Not hit anything yet. There's just nothing to give it away. Boy, I'm just going old school. Wow, that is an old crossing. Look at that. Honestly, I've I've just not got a clue. Not got a clue. There's no clue here whatsoever. Just straight roads and farmland and nothing in between. Just goes on and on. Here we go. Nope, we can't get on that road. Yes, we can. So weird. Ay ay ay. Uh right, Kansas. Middle of nowhere in Kansas. There you go. Yes. Wow. Right at the bottom of Texas. Neutronex, thank you for seven months. You're the reason I got a PC and applaud you. Happy flying. Thank you very much, Neutronix. Oh, you can't cheat that one. Right, I'm just going to nip to the bathroom. So that I can land comfortably. <laughs> I should be back in a minute.
Oh, look at the terrain. Starting to get a little bit more interesting now. Blimey. Okay, let's have a look. Current weather and stuff. Clouds as well, look. Jim Bob, 44 months hype. Hope you're well. If all goes according to plan, I should have my PPL chat right next week. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Hope it goes well, Jim Bob, dude. Jezza is golden 24. Two months. Uh, two years, sorry, of great content. Thank you, Jezza, for your support. Uh, let's see. Altimeter 29. What? 2967. It's just gone down as we've gone west. Wind is 260. It's on the west of the runway. 29 gusting 48. Crikey. 2967. Let me want on west of the runway. Captain Bob Chuckle. They <laughs> give it two months. And they don't have a westerly runway. The best they've got is 2 0. It's 5,000 feet long. Uh, elevation 6 8. So if we're at 7 8 by the time we get there. Yeah, it's getting windy though. So wind's coming in like roughly like that. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking we, we get near it and then go down the east side of it, turn and come down onto 2-0. That wind is just a monster. Guyworks, yeah, yeah, we've got Air Squirrel, bro. And Air Squirrel running for a little one. Aircraft, Air Squirrel is there. That's the aircraft and Air Squirrel at the moment. Need a Kinga or a Caravan. A bunch of Skyhawk. Land southwest. Jim Bob and run it. I'm landing on two zero. I can't. That's the best runway I can get for a two six zero wind. I can't get anything that's right. Gav Jam, thirty three months. Sorry, not watched in a while. Is this X plane? Yes, X plane. Gav Jam. That crap. <laughs> Just not. Oh, hills, trees, scenery. Oh. There's monster crabs on flights. Crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. Just that wind is just amazing. Like, was it 20. 29 gusting 48. Like, you what, mate? Broken clouds. Yep, yeah, that looks about right.
Yeah, Gav Jam, the cool thing about X Plane is that you can generate your own ortho and make it look incredible. Or you can just download pre built stuff that people have done. You got your new computer and just got X Plane, big difference. Nice. 12 miles we are. 12 miles. Yeah, yeah, of course you can go online with X-Plane, Stuart. Totally, man. Go on Vat, Sim, Pilot, Edge, whatever you want. Just heard about new games for Twitch Prime. Gav Gem. Yeah, the only problem with Twitch Prime games is you have to install their stupid curse client. <laughs> I'm seeing lots of trucks. Wait, what's that? No. I don't want to see it. Should be about that, shouldn't it? I wonder if there's any like <laughs> any like scenery for this. <laughs> it's just gonna be spot the grass strip. Man, he's got two decent sized runways, so he should be tarmac here. videos you've seen of x -Plane online, it's really non-realistic being talk. What would you say to that, John Floy? x -Plane online is non-realistic? Bean talk, I think you should watch some streams, bro. I streamed Surviving Mars, uh, Gab Jam, last week. clever is it four miles away I can't see the runway oh yeah there it is and go on one sec I can't really go completely fuel rich at this altitude. Uh, engine instruments looking okay. Barometer's been set. It's 11 Celsius. So we're going to put the pitot heat on just in case. And the lights are coming on.
Our selectors on both. Okay. There's the most realistic flight model out there, and what gets more realistic than actual sat photo scenery and pilot edge? But I'm biased. <laughs> Crossbow height for Hunter Call of the Wild. <laughs> That's the runway we want, coming in from that direction in that way. There's no scenery here by the look of it. There should be some buildings over there, just a few. But it looks like we've got nothing here. Jai Uni, how you doing, sir? Uh, a blitter on. We're in Western America. We've been taking an aircraft out of Texas across New Mexico. Heading towards California. Crikey, we really are just about a thousand elevation here. Gavgem, it's uh, my own little ad that I've put in there to remind people they can use, they can get free sub if they have Twitch Prime. Uh, I've just thought, if you have your PPL, will you fly to Cosford instead of driving? In October, DJ Crush? And the problem is I have to hire an aircraft for like, what, two days? I'll just try and drive, I think. And if the weather's not right, you know... You might get there and not be able to leave on Sunday. You know, it's, it's all a bit messy. So the wind was 2.6, which means, as we're looking at it, it's going to come from our right. So it's going to blow us towards the left of the runway. And at this point, I kill the AP. to create a second account. <laughs> Be right back. Lol.
Oh yeah, MG, you got X-Plan, didn't you, MJ? I remember now. Not long ago. The game is slightly rubbish. I can't wait for Sunday Night Trucking. <laughs> there's a difference, uh, Brawl. There's a difference between you not liking something and it being rubbish. Everybody has a preference. Doesn't mean to say something's rubbish, though. Well, I have done BF, dude. I have. Okay, first stage flaps. Checked. Exciting as a 170 V. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, looking good. Let's keep the nose point to the right a little bit. Four flaps. Not really a game either, is it being talked to Sim? Oh, that wind is just battering. Look at that windsock. Look at it go. Whoa, bouncy, bouncy. Two touchdowns for the price of one. and is meant to be. <sighs> Barking is meant to be here. It's not really much in the way of scenery here. Hmm. Yeah, it was, it was reasonably smooth. Let's get off the runway. No, I didn't. I didn't install it for this one, John Fly. I, I, I did quite a number of airports, um, but obviously there's still a lot to go. I just wanted to test my setup and, and get it all working. That was my main priority. Okay, flaps are cleaned up. Pizza heat, come off. Extra lean for taxi. Transponder to standby. And move the trim back up. Does Mr. X do this um, this particular airport, John Fly? If he does, I need to install it. 
There's a whole bunch of airports I need to install. Thing is, I wasn't really sure what my route was going to be because it was dictated by what was available on FS Economy. So I just kind of installed some stuff, but I didn't know I was going to be here. It's weird. I think that is meant to be where the um, stuff is, but you can't get to it. I'll just have to park down here. I don't know. There's just nowhere to go here. Yeah, because I will be doing that, bro. But it's easier to do this initially. I like doing both, because he... Gav Jam watches Squirrel. <laughs> I guess somebody just found um, how to create the second account. Thank you, Gav Jam. Sometimes you have zero scenery. Yeah. I've been fairly lucky tonight, though. Every one I've been to has been, like, buildings, runways, pretty good. Just this one is bereft of anything uh, BF I don't know bro don't know if I have that I don't think so I've not consciously installed it I think we're just going to have to park in a taxiway it's a bit, a bit rubbish but what can you do FS Economy, no, it doesn't, it doesn't really cover jets that much. John Fly knows a lot more about it than me. I don't know what jets it has, so John, over to you. <laughs> okay. Avionics Master's coming off. I mean, surely, Avionics Master off, surely it should be saying, like, turn the equipment off before it says that. I would have thought. Hmm. There's no off switch on that one. Well, oh, avionics off, panel lights off. economy finish flight one hour 56 27 gallons of fuel on board wow we burnt quite a bit of fuel blimey a320 and 737-800 of fuel this but the jobs pay very little for the miles you have to put in more centered around ga right let's have a look how we got on with that wrong one Log. There you go. Seventeen hundred, two hundred and forty rental cost, two hundred and thirty six additional cost. Cleared thirteen hundred. The aircraft is now KLVS, which is in a lot better place than it used to be. So we're basically here. Mid New Mexico. How much does the add-on cost? Which add-on? FS economy is free, if that's what you mean. So we've moved it from about here somewhere to here. Then I'm going to chunk it over to Arizona. And I think my scenery kicks in round about the... So after that, it'll be really nice looking. What does the airport actually look like, quick set? Uh, I 
So we landed here on 2-0. And there's supposed to be this whole kind of hangar parking area down here. So not a lot, but there's supposed to be some buildings that are just not here. Like I say, it's it's that bit over there. What we could see. That. That's the airport road on the map. And then there's supposed to be buildings and a hangar here. That's where it's supposed to be, but there's no connection. That's the road. Anyway, I think we're going to have to leave it there, guys, because uh, it's quarter to 11. I can't really do another flight now. We haven't got enough time.